The celebrity scene just wouldn't be the same without them. I'm Ashley with Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 celebrities everyone loves. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at the famous faces that have really made their mark on British culture, earning millions of fans in doing so. We've just got the sound. <laughs> <laughs> Number 10. Dame Maggie Smith There's no doubting that Dame Maggie Smith has had an incredible career, but despite her almost unparalleled CV, she stays humble, once claiming in The Telegraph that people think you're amazing simply if you live long enough. You should be fighting back the tears, not eyeing up the talent. But there's way more to Dame Maggie than just her years on the planet. A stage and screen star with every conceivable award to her name, today she's probably best known for playing either Professor McGonagall in the Harry Potter series or Violet Crawley in Downton Abbey. We are allies, my dear, which can be a good deal more effective. As those roles prove, she switches between genres with style. One moment making us laugh with a classic Dowager Countess Zinger, or as the eponymous lady in the van, the next, captivating us as a teacher of transfiguration at Hogwarts. I've always wanted to use that spell. Number 9. Sir Patrick Stewart Anyone who can bring together Shakespeare aficionados and sci-fi buffs has to be a pretty special guy. Our destination is planet Deneb 4, beyond which lies the great unexplored mass of the galaxy. Yes, this iconic actor has long trod the boards with the Royal Shakespeare Company, but he's also famously played Captain Jean-Luc Picard in Star Trek The Next Generation and Charles Xavier in X-Men. Away from the camera though, Stuart is known for being especially kind to his fans and always willing to stop for a chat or sign an autograph. Who's there? <laughs> a friend. He also campaigns for a slew of commendable causes, including the Beat Bully Campaign, the Make a Difference Trust and Refuge, a charity providing support against domestic violence. And as well as all of that, the chap's actually really funny and has a hidden talent for mooing in different accents. So we'll just leave you with that. How do you know? You're not the only one with gifts. Where are you going? Where is he going? He's over there. Number 8. Dawn French as one of the UK's most engaging dramatic actors, Dawn French has been all around entertaining us for more than three decades. <laughs> How are you, Jemima? I haven't seen you for ages. <laughs> She's best known as one half of the sketch show Double Act on French and Saunders, or for just always being up for a laugh in the name of charity. Throw into that eclectic mix cameos in the Narnia and Harry Potter franchises, and French has gathered fans from all over. <laughs> Amazing! Just with my voice. Maybe it's just the fact that she's plain hilarious. The people love her. Look, the only reason I'm doing that is because apparently the runner-up gets a year's free supply of chocolate, which she would share with her parishioners. Obviously. <laughs> Number 7. Mary Berry This now household name has been in the cake business since her first job, where she'd teach customers how to use the electric ovens by baking Victoria sponges. True story. But now, the inimitable Mary Berry is obviously best known for her time on The Great British Bake Off, bringing her own brand of gentle yet honest criticism and unintentional innuendo into everyone's front room. A lovely, soft, beautifully textured bun. Outside of the show, Mary's big on family values and regularly invites us into her home by having her daughter and grandkids assist her in baking demonstrations. Now, make it into a sausage shape and divide it into three. She does have an unintentionally shady past, though, as revealed while chatting with Graham Norton. But it's a story that's so quintessentially Mary Berry, it only makes us love her even more. Ma'am, uh, are, you, are you expecting to make some money from these white packets? And you said, oh, uh, uh, I do, and... Uh, 
<laughs> My fee has already been agreed. <laughs> Number six, Sir Ian McKellen. The other half of the always wonderful Stuart McKellen bromance, how could Sir Ian not be on this list? Like his friend, McKellen has done everything in the business, but again, it all started with Shakespeare. Then came The Lord of the Rings and X-Men, where he plays arguably his two most famous characters. You shall not pass! But despite worldwide fame, McKellen remains as humble and personable as ever, and a relentless campaigner for worthy causes. He's also an active and influential member of the LGBT plus community, regularly spotted at various Pride events and co-founding the LGBT rights charity Stonewall. Oh, it's not so surprising, really. Mankind has always feared what it doesn't understand. Even after all these years, it's clear that McKellen still loves what he does, and his army of fans still love watching him perform. Sir, if you would just excuse me, please, I need to squeeze by. <laughs> Number 5. Dame Helen Mirren Another alum from the Royal Shakespeare Company and, like the others, her career has been stacked with success ever since. And that must have been difficult. Yes. Very. She's won Golden Globes, Emmys, Oscars, and BAFTAs, and yet, perhaps more than any of her contemporaries, she comes across as spectacularly grounded. There's no doubt that Dame Helen's best known for dramatic roles, but she's always good for a laugh too, as proved by her unforgettable rap battle against James Corden. Poor James Corden will never be satisfied until you find a way to get attention deep fried. <laughs> She does have quite the reputation for playing past and present members of the royal family, but that doesn't mean she's always prim and proper, which is another reason why she's so popular. I love it. Number 4. Stephen Fry Far from being a one-trick pony, fans of all ages are able to pinpoint their favourite Stephen Fry moment. I tell you, I tell you the, tr the trouble with that woman is that she's just a rather disgusting-looking tart that should have been disposed of ages ago. <laughs> Whether it's from his early days in Fry and Laurie, playing Melchit in Blackadder, hosting QI, or maybe you simply have memories of his soothing tones taking you through the Harry Potter audio books. Fry has essentially built a career on his incredible intelligence, but also being able to convey that cleverness in fun, engaging, and generally awesome ways. When Stephen Fry talks, most of everyone else listens, and you usually learn a fair bit too. But if you had a wick made of something that burnt at a very low temperature, then no matter how much you blew it out, it wouldn't go out. As an author, actor, presenter, and activist, there are few Britons that he hasn't entertained or influenced in some way. Oh. We'll love him forever, I mean. I... Oh! <laughs> Number three, Philip Schofield. I'll tell you something. What? That hair. Yeah. Still dyed. I was grey underneath that. Why were you? Were you grey then? Yeah. Grey when I was 16. Phil's is a career that spans radio, TV, and stage. Yes, he's best known for co presenting this morning nowadays, but Schofield is a man of many skills. For example, if you didn't know he could sing, then check out his performance in the Joseph musical. Pretty good, huh? They are to the and for kids growing up in the 80s and early 90s, he's synonymous with Saturday Morning Kids TV. Nowadays, he and Holly Willoughby have the perfect dynamic for daytime telly, with Phil charming viewers thanks to his honest approach and untapped ability to turn even the most mundane of moments into something that's genuinely hilarious especially for Holly, which brings us on to our next entry. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that? What was that noise? Number 2. Holly Willoughby She's the yin to Phil's yang, with a smile to rival even his. But even before the presenting power duo had formed, Holly Willoughby was already seriously popular. Why? Oh! <laughs> 
she started out on kids TV before branching out into other presenting gigs, including for spin-off shows of the reality TV juggernaut The X Factor and for the sister show to ITV's never forgotten foray into celebrity wrestling. Today, she's an undisputed style icon and one of the most influential celebrities around. <clears throat> If we ever needed further proof of her popularity, then it came when she stood in for Aunt McPartlin on I'm a Celebrity in 2018. Partnering with Deck, it could have gone so wrong. But Holly was right at home despite her difficulties during the Bush Tucker trials, winning over thousands more fans in the process. They oh my god, they're running towards oh, us! Yeah, of course! <laughs> Before we unveil our top pick, here's some honourable mentions. The name Sherlock Holmes and the address is 221B Baker Street. Afternoon. So that's a really important part of the race, just making sure that you, you get out the best you can and attack those first two hurdles. Are you sure that's a real spell? Well, it's not very good, is it? Of course, I've only tried a few simple ones myself. I'm the Doctor. I'm a Time Lord. I'm from the planet Gallifrey in the constellation of Casterberus. I'm 903 years old and I'm the man who's going to save your lives and all 6 billion people on the planet below. Number 1. Sir David Attenborough Just his voice alone makes you believe everything will be alright. A hundred years ago, there were one and a half billion people on Earth. Now, over six billion crowd our fragile planet. So David Attenborough basically is nature documentaries, turning the genre into one of the most watched show types in Britain. He was voted as the UK's most popular public figure in a 2018 YouGov poll. And considering this is the man whose documentary Planet Earth 2 brought in a bigger young audience than The X Factor, it's clearly well deserved. Attenborough has had a staggeringly long career, but his impact over the last few years has been arguably greater than ever. Ooh. As a tireless campaigner for environmental issues, his Blue Planet 2 documentary is said to have inspired more than half of viewers to use less plastic. An all-around hero. And then suddenly there was this noise again, and this time it ended with a boom. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo UK and subscribe for more great content.